Hello everyone, Lisa here. Did you know you can emulate real pinball tables on the Steam Deck? Pretty cool, right? Well, today I'm going to show you how. Now, it's worth noting that the Linux version of this emulator is still in beta, so some tables might not work just yet. First, you're going to want to go over to GitHub and download the latest release of vPinball X. Just be careful you select the right one, because there are a lot here. You're going to want to go with the Linux 64-bit one. Now you're going to have to unzip the file. Then I recommend deleting this file just so you don't get confused when you unzip the other file. And this folder right here, we're going to want to rename it to vpinball. All lowercase because Linux is case sensitive. Now we're going to move this folder over to our home folder. And we're going to need to create a few folders here. So first off, we're going to want to turn on View Hidden Files. Then we're going to want to create the following. And I do have a script that will automate this process if you'd rather use that. Alright, so you're going to need to create .vpinball. dot pin name then go into the vpinball folder and create a cache folder a pin name folder and a user folder then return to the home folder and go inside the pin main folder. In here we're going to need to create a CFG folder, INI folder, NVRAM folder, and a ROMs folder. Next, we're going to need an account for VP Universe. And this is where you're going to download all of your tables. Now, on this website, they have user created tables and they have authentic tables or original tables. If you are downloading an original table, you're going to need a ROM file. And to download this ROM file, you're going to need to go over to VP Forms. Now you will also have to create an account for this one, and I believe you have to wait 24 hours before you can download any files. Now I'm using the Sopranos as an example here because this is a real pinball table and will require ROM files. Last thing you have to check is this repository right here. So this emulator was originally for Windows and was later ported over to Linux. Some of the tables, since they are made for Windows, do require patches. So you'll want to make sure that your table is not in this list. If it is in this list, download the appropriate patches. Alright, with all of those files downloaded, we're going to want to head over to our VP Pinball folder.
going to want to go to the tables folder and I recommend creating a folder for each of your tables just to keep everything organized. I mean, you don't have to, but some tables require a lot of extra files like music and stuff. So it is highly recommended. All right, and inside this folder, we're going to paste our .vpx file and any of the patches that you had to download. Next, we have to navigate to the .pin main folder. And we're going to go to the ROMs folder. So if your table had a ROM, just like mine, you're going to want to paste your ROM here. All right, and now to run these games, you're going to need a script. I'm going to have all of this in the description just to make it easy. So you're going to want to paste the two lines I have in the description. So there are some quotation marks after it says dash play. You're going to want to replace those with the path to your file. Got to make sure this is exact. Otherwise, nothing will happen when you run this script. Now you're going to want to save it. I recommend saving it as the name of your pinball table just for simplicity. And you're going to go to where you saved this script. You're going to right click on it. You're going to select properties. You're going to go over to permissions and check the is executable box. Now you're going to go back. You're going to right click on the file again. And this time there'll be an option to add it to Steam. Now I recommend creating a default layout template for your pinball games just to make things easier. And I also did notice one thing that this template will solve. Uh, the left joystick on the Steam Deck, and I don't know if it's just my deck or if this is just a Steam Deck related issue, but it will cause the ball to, uh, well, reverse gravity, I guess. And just, it is worth noting, I don't have any observable drift on my deck. So I'm not sure what's causing this, but I would highly recommend using this to disable the left stick just so you don't run into this issue. It's also worth noting that not all of the pinball tables I tried worked. Granted, my testing was before they officially released this emulator to Linux, but I'm sure you'll probably notice a few tables here and there that just don't work. Now, if you do run into any issues, there's also a really good video on this for Batisera, which is very similar to the Steam Deck in terms of how the emulator works, just a few slight differences. Anyway, the guy goes a lot more in depth with adding music files, ROM files, and the whole bit. Great video, do recommend giving it a watch. But that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one, guys.